Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of the US ban on Chinese EUV and ASML. The United States has always adopted sanctions against China's chip industry. The United States does not want to make progress in China's chip industry because the United States wants to control the development of China's related industries and control the lifeline of this aspect. The manufacture of chips is related to the development of many technologies, and the development of many technologies is inseparable from the progress of chips. Every country attaches great importance to the development of its own semiconductor industry, but China has encountered more difficulties in the history of semiconductor industry development than most countries in the world, because many Western countries, mainly the United States, have no confidence in China's development. There are hostile attitudes, so China's development is particularly difficult. The United States threatened ASML in the Netherlands to prevent them from selling lithography machines to China, but this is also unfair to ASML. When it comes to lithography machines, I believe everyone knows the Dutch company ASML, which is the most advanced related manufacturer in the world and has very imported technology. So China has also ordered many lithography machines from him. Counting the history of ASML's development, you will find that from a humble person in 1984, the market value of ASML has soared all the way, reaching over 260 billion US dollars, far surpassing the US semiconductor chip giant Intel. It can be seen that it is not common for ASML to occupy so many markets. In fact, ASML often shows favor to the Chinese domestic market, but at the same time, the shipment of EUV lithography machines was stopped abruptly. As early as four years ago, China's SMIC had talked with ASML, but the United States tried every means to prevent the transaction between China and ASML. So the transaction did not go smoothly, but was abandoned halfway and was greatly affected. Due to the influence of the United States and due to the continuous oppression of the United States, China's chip development and equipment purchase have not been so smooth and it has always been very difficult. Market transactions have a lot to do with the relevant departments of various countries, but the U.S.'s approach violates the relevant international trade rules and damages the interests of related companies. Even after the DUV lithography machine was limited, after several twists and turns, the so-called mature technology was revealed by ASML that the tripartite chip agreement would limit their shipments. However, after ASML disclosed the matter, ASML still stated that its revenue in the Chinese market in 2023 can maintain about 16 billion yuan. It is equivalent to saying that they will continue to ship. To put it in no exaggeration, this is another good show from ASML. It is estimated that many companies feel very lucky to have ASML's attitude at such a critical moment. However, it didn't take long for ASML to openly set a technical trap again. After expressing its attitude towards shipment, ASML reiterated that the data related to its proprietary technology had been embezzled and the former employees in China were named among them. Of course, ASML was a lot more cautious this time and did not explain what data was stolen and China did not know whether it was lithography machine technology. The reason why the editor said that this is a technical trap set by ASML is because ASML has had precedence in the past. 
In 2021, a Chinese company in China will be accused by ASML. ASML said that the Chinese company had leaked and stolen ASML's core data secrets and also asked ASML's major customers not to cooperate with the Chinese company. China believes that ASML is trying to use technology to set a trap to a certain extent. I thought there would be no follow-up to this matter, but now ASML jumped out and said an unfounded statement, and had to let the outside world think whether it was related to what happened back then. Now ASML wants to pull out the previous things again, and ASML has a high probability of wanting to benefit from it. So China says that ASML is a trap set by technology. But anyone with a discerning eye knows that this action is completely different from ASML's attitude of wanting to ship in large quantities. This makes people think deeply whether the shipment of 16 billion lithography machines is just an illusion shown by ASML to China. From a market point of view, ASML is unlikely to do so. You can see that in the past shipment history, ASML is actively showing ASML's advantages and attitudes to customers in the domestic market regardless of whether it can ship or not. The cargo data is also impressive. So I personally guess that ASML's move may be to ship more. First of all, this happened to be stuck in the time difference before a restriction agreement. ASML itself can ship a lot of lithography machines at this stage, but at the same time its competitors can also grasp this time difference. So ASML puts out if technology is mentioned, there is a high probability that it is trying to exchange technical events for the compromise of Chinese enterprise customers. Secondly, this indirectly sold U.S. Semiconductor a good deal. After all, the other party's intention to restrict is clearly revealed, and ASML wants the market and must beware of the restrictions of beautiful technology. So it has to show some sweetness on the surface. So that the other party can give ASML more room for shipments. If this analysis is correct, then ASML is indeed a role that should not be underestimated. But having said that, ASML did this only to seize more benefits for itself. When most of the global semiconductors entered the cold winter stage, the Chinese market was much better. Under such circumstances, ASML has to please both sides in order to better gain market share. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a comment, like and share.